Hello YouTube, my name is Nier, and you can't see me probably because I was just too lazy to take my camera and everything, so just recording recording this, you'll, sim you'll only hear my voice. I'll probably put a picture here or somewhere, it won't be a slideshow, just one picture. You can just move over to another window or just listen, and just listen to this. So, today's episode of Star Wars Rebels Season 4 is Episode 6, Flight of the Defender. The other one, The Occupation, I saw. Also, I just... Maybe I'll review it later. Um, but they just finished watching this one. So, in the, in the previous episode, they returned to Lothal. And something I really just want to touch on from the last episode is... You really got a sense of the Empire... For what it's done to Lothal in the beginning of the episode. For example, the music when you, like the oh or something like that, um, it's really dark, like, Lothal, it was completely burned to the ground. It's like, every time they go back there, it's even more in ruins, so I'm pretty sure. So what, next time they go back there, it's just gonna be a rock? I don't know. So, everything is burned, and Ezra's friend, like, Joe or, old Joe or something, um, he got executed! That's probably the first, no, second <laughs> death of, Ezra, of Ezra's friend. Third, if you come. And wow, <laughs> this show really is getting more mature, which I like. Um, well, okay, now to get to this episode Flight of the Defender, um, we see Thrawn. Yay. <laughs> um,. I love Ezra's expression when he saw Thrawn, it's like, <gasps> you can't see me, but just looks like, oh my god, it's Thrawn. I love that. Um, so they're trying to steal some Navi computer or something, like the schematics of the new TIE Defender. And, um, it's a good episode. Not great, not incredible or something, not, but not bad either, it's good. Um... Like all the other epi Rebels episodes so far, um, it's good, it's, um, but there, there's just, it just, th th things in Rebels that just keep me from loving the show, just, I like this show, but there are just those really tiny things that just all stack up, stack up together, just keep me from loving this show, it's all the sometimes forced plotting, like, or just forced dialogue in general. It's like something that always really annoys me in episode in TV shows, movies in general. It's when people are speaking to themselves. It's like, who are you talking to? It's like to the audience, I know, but no one, no regular human being talks to themselves. Who does that? Unless you're some kind of crazy person. But Sabine says something like, um, uh, I've got a plan. It's like, who are you talking to? It's like, it just really really annoys me. I don't know why, just like, um, Avatar, for example, don't know why I'm mentioning this, one of my favorite ch shows of all time, actually my favorite one, um, my t um, has really natural dialogue, which, what I like, Rebels, just annoys me with that, he just really, really annoys me with that, I just, really irritates me, but it just, it's an, it's probably a nitpick, because, I don't know, just really something I wanted to mention, um, we see Death Troopers, um, they don't do anything except for just th being there. Something that really annoyed me in, uh, the name of the Rebellion episode, you, you heard the Death Troopers speak, and their voices sounded really comical, it's like, really high-pitched and like that, it's like, really, really? Like, I, something I love, I remember about when I saw Rogue One for the first time, like, seeing those Death Troopers with Krennic, like, these guys were... Pretty intimidating, and just having them s this voice, it's like, really? Like, really? So, um, but in the Occupation episode, they have a deeper voice, which I like. I would have preferred a scrambled voice, but yeah, they're giving orders to the troopers, which I get. Um, and we see the Loath Cats, I think that's what they're called, yeah, Loath Cats, um, and they're cute. <laughs> Uh, they're adorable, um, but if, but if anybody of you has a cat, <laughs> you can probably identify with, with those, not identify, like, I don't know, like, really like those loath, loath cats, I don't know, um, I used to have one, so, 
I don't know, they seem cute. Uh, so they distract the stormtroopers, which really, like, how can they understand them? It's like, are they com immune to the force or something? Because that's the only reason I can think of it. Even that sounds pretty ridiculous. It's like, they're cats, they're animals, not, like, I know there are aliens in, in the Star Wars galaxy, but those aren't aliens. Those aren't speaking al aliens. They just even have a meow sound. It's like, how can you communicate with those guys? It's like, seriously? Like, just like I said, tiny things from this sh the, in this show that keep me from loving it. Um, like, really? So, they stay with the TIE Defender. And, um, I love uh, that line when Thrawn said something like, uh, if somebody of Ezra Bridger's fighting skills can take out our trained pilots in only a few minutes, then the rebellion is crushed, something like that. <laughs> it's like he's mocking Ezra's. <laughs> it was, a, it was, it really made me laugh for some reason. Um, and when they took out the, what was it, the hyperdrive? Um, when they just carried it, I just thought like it's it's a circle shape. Just just roll it. It's much easier. It's it's not a problem. It's not something good. Just something I thought during the episode I wanted to mention. Just just roll it. It just it's a circle. Th it's it's round. Roll. Just roll it. <laughs> I don't know. This little thing. Um, and the we see a loath wolf, which amounts so far at least amounts to absolutely nothing. Hope this guy comes back in some way, shape, or form because. This is pretty much a Deus Ex Machina wolf, like, unless, I don't know, if, if they explain it later, it's, it's so far it's a Deus Ex Machina wolf. <laughs> Which, it's, again, it's annoying. Um, well, but, it's good, good episode, I like it, like I said in the beginning, so, um, yeah, I don't know, probably my favorite episode so far in this season, and all the episodes so far have been good except for... The Heroes of Mandalore wasn't a bad one, by the way, I did make a review of this if you want to watch it. Just go to go, just go to my channel. Um It wasn't a bad episode, just the weakest of them all so far. Name the Reb if I if I had to give it a score out of ten, I'd give it a six point five. Name of the Rebellion seven seven out of ten. Occupation again seven out of ten and Flight of the Defender seven point two. 2 out of 10 or something like that? I don't know, I mean... It's... Just, yeah, good. So, for me, 7 out of 10 is good. It's like, yeah, something between 6 and 7 is good. Anything beyond 8 is... Like, 8 is great. 9 is amazing. 10 is absolutely incredible. And so far, this show really hasn't gotten the incredible level. Like, episodes as a whole. Not even... I mean, there are moments that have, for example, the Obi-Wan vs. Maul, Vader vs. Ahsoka, moments like that I did. But there haven't been whole episodes that got to this level for me. Um, but, yeah, that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Please tell me what you thought of this episode in the comments below, and goodbye.